All right, I am going to make the best video for you Jets fans. We're going to have a great time right now. I just need to do one thing. I'm kind of hungry. I didn't eat. I'm kind of getting a little hungry thing. I'm going to order a pizza. I reviewed a pizza the other day. It's on Cravat Attack a couple of weeks ago. You may, have see, you may have seen it. It's a place called Supreme Being or whatever. And it's amazing pizza. It's amazing pizza. So I'm, I'm going to just try to get a pizza here. I'm not really sure which place it is, but uh, hopefully it'll be the right place. Um, and then we'll get going. Let's get this pizza. Hello? You're kidding Hello? me. Hello? You just, why does this sound so familiar? Uh, I was trying to just get a pizza from Supreme Being Pizza, Sacramento. It's you again. Oh, um, there's no way I called the Bronx. Oh, oh, come on, Jeremy. Man, this is your second time. So what's going on, Jeremy? What are you doing here today? I was That's just, the wrong number. I was just going to do this video and, and, you know, about how the Jets need to, like, stop thinking it's all about the offensive line and stop thinking it's all about the quarterback. Not, and, and you know, What's your name again? What's your name again? It's Jeremy. No, 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 no. But you got to change your name. I have something I can remember. Change my name. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Mo. Mo, 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 Mo Green. Mo, Mo. Mo Green. Okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Like from the not, oh, okay. You're not going to shoot me in the eye. No, 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 no. What about maybe Hyman? Hyman Roth? No, no, I'll go with Mo Green. Marty, Marty from Goodfellas. What do you think? Marty from Goodfellas. <laughs> I, I guess that works. If, <laughs> if so, you works. pick it. You could pick it. It's up to you. I'll be Mo. I'll be. I'll be, I'll be Mo Green. I'll, I'll be Mo Green. Okay, Mo, Mo, Mo. Let's do this. What, now, you want to talk about offensive lines? Yeah, I mean, I mean, come on. Don't you think that offensive line is overrated? I know how to build an offensive line. Yeah, but it's overrated, an offensive line. Don't no, you no, think? no. It's, it's really, I'll tell you how to build an offensive line, right? Okay. Listen, the first thing you got to do is when you're trying to build a good team, you can't be with the other good teams at the world, okay? Now, who has a good offensive line? I'm going to tell you. Okay. You listening? Yeah. You got me? Are you sure? Yeah, I'm listening. Okay, I listen promise. Uh, pull up the Eagles offensive line. Okay, I want you to go to uh, maybe our edge. Okay, I think that's a good, good place to go. And pull up the offensive line and tell me what you see. Okay, I'll go to our lads. From now on, that's if you're going to talk to me about anything football. We're gonna use that that website when it comes to. You want me to pull up the depth chart or their roster? The depth chart. The depth chart. Okay. Well, I better share it with my listeners because I'm recording right now. You know. Oh, are you really? Yeah. Oh, so, okay. Yeah. These was, guys, was, uh, do they press like when they watch your video? Sometimes they do if they like it. I mean, no, I hope no, that no, they no, do. No, no, no. We got to take care of that shit. Okay. Now pull up the Eagles and see what you got. Okay. I'm gonna share the screen. I got it pulled up, but I gotta share the screen. Okay. So we got it, okay. we got it. Everyone could see it now. Oh, everybody could see it. This is good. Yeah. Now, how many of those guys are drafted by the Eagles? Well, let's look. We got a left tackle. Uh, that was drafted in Jordan Melata. He was uh, 2018. Okay. There's uh, the left guard is Landon Dickerson. He was drafted in 2021. Then we got Jason Kelsey. Wow, he was drafted forever ago in 2011. Ooh, was he a six-round pick? That's kind of crazy. Right guard. Right guard was another guy that they drafted in 2022, Cam Jurgens. I remember him. And then right tackle is Lane Johnson, and they drafted him in 2013, years ago. Right. Now, why do you think they have a good offensive line? Because they drafted huh. them, they put them together, they let them play, they built what? Chemistry? Right? Yeah. Continuity? Right. I'll give you an example. A couple of weeks ago, they put Warren in. They put Conklin next to him, okay? The kids never played friggin' right guard, right tackle, okay? 
the, the, the linebacker blitzes, and both of them are, are holding. The, 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 both of them have no clue who to pick them. You know who's going to pick them up, and they give up the sack. Okay, mm. who are you blaming? You're blaming Lauren. He never played before. Okay, you got you got to build up to that. Okay, it's communication. You play a while together. You know, Tipman looks at, at the who's his right guard this week. Okay, was it Mitchell? Who played right guard for the Jets this week? Oh, Glazer? Glazer? Okay, yeah, but it changes every other day. It changes like crazy. Right. Typically what happens is, you know, Becton is supposed to look at Tomlinson and he looks next to him and he's looking at Tipman. Okay, and they they know after six months, a year, exactly what to do. Okay, that's what's up with the Jets. And the Jets fans, they just, they can't comprehend that. They think it's an easy solution to slot somebody in there and you got an offensive line. That's not the way it works. Now go to the next team. This is a beauty, the Lions. You got to hurry up there, bud. All right, I'm going as fast as I can. Don't shoot me in the eye. Okay, you're okay for now, okay? <laughs> right. uh, okay, I got the Lions here. It looks like a bunch, a lot of drafted guys. Exactly. The left ta tackle is uh, Taylor Decker, 2016. Jonah Jackson, their left guard, 2020. Their center, Frank Ragnow, 2018. Drafted by them. Colby Sorsdahl is their right guard. He was just uh, recently drafted in 2023. And then, oh, Panay Sewell. That's a, a sore topic for me. 2021. Okay, so four of the guys have played together forever. The other guy, you know, is being drafted to his team. Okay? You know what that shows? What's that? That shows loyalty. Okay? Yeah. If you're drafted and that's your team, that's your team. Okay? It's different than signing on as a free agent later on. It doesn't work that way. You got to mm. build ownership that way. It takes a while for a kid to join a new team and feel like he did when he first got drafted to the team that wanted him. Mm. That's what's wrong, and it's consistent, okay? That's why all the great teams, that's how they build. Now, we'll keep on going because the next team on the list is the Cowboys. What do you got there? Man, they've, it feels like they've had a good offensive line forever. They had one year. Right, but they keep on doing the same thing, then, uh, Mom. I almost called you Jeremy, okay? <laughs> Starting to rub off on me here. Okay? Listen up, Mo. I got the Cowboys here. They're up. Okay. And what do you see? I see guys that were drafted by the team. You got Tyron Smith, 2011. Tyler Smith, 2022. Tyler Biadas, <laughs> 2020. Zach Martin, 2014. And Terrence Steele, who I think was an undrafted free agent. Okay, he's undrafted, right? But he's there all. He's been there since, he was... since 2020. Okay, now, if you look at them, they're all picked by who? The Cowboys. Yeah. Okay? That's how you build a team. And it's consistent throughout. It's, it's like history. If you look at teams like that, they're going to have a good offensive line. Okay. People look at it all the wrong way when building an offensive line. Take a look at the, the draft. When they drafted the players on the Cowboys, uh, what rounds? Well, Zach, when they drafted. Well, uh, let's see. The left tackle was uh, Tyron Smith was a first rounder, and that was in 2011. Okay. Tyler Smith was a first rounder. It was 2022. Okay. Tyler Biadas, the center, was a fourth rounder in 2020. Okay. Zach Martin was a first rounder in 2014. Hmm. Now, now the thing is, normally you'll see at least two first rounders on the thing. Okay. Now we'll get to the Jets in a little while because they have their two first rounders, right? Mm -hmm. uh, back to an ABT. Right. Where are they? Right. Beckton is playing. AVT is hurt again. Right. And where's Beckton been? He's been hurt. 
Right. They missed that, two that's years. What's wrong, that's what's wrong with the Jets. Okay. Now go to the next one, the Packers. What do you see? All drafted by the Packers. It, Rashid Walker, 2022, left tackle. Elton Jenkins, 2019, second round pick, left guard. Josh Myers, center, 2021, second round. John Run Runyon, 2020, sixth round. Right tackle. Zach Tom, 2022, fourth round. That's with an injury, yeah. right? They're, they have a guy that's injured. Because I know yeah, back to Ari, right? Back to, back to Ari, yeah. Yeah, but who do the Jets want to get to help their line? The Jet fans. They want to get him, the injured guy, right? He's always injured. Right, but that's, that's how the Jet fans want to build a team. Okay? Hmm. That's not how it works. And it's consistent. It goes back to what we talked about on building a roster. The same mistake over and over and over. They want to go fill in everything from free agency. That's the way they plan on building it. Doesn't work. Okay. Takes time. And you can't, if you, if you sign somebody from free agency, you're not giving them a four or five year contract now. Okay. Especially an offensive lineman coming off his first deal. You get them two years. Mm. What happens if you give it, right? Am I right or wrong? You're right. Right, you're not giving him a five-year deal unless to Zach Martin, right? Right. And he's not going anywhere anyway because they love him. So what happens? In two years, you're going to have to what? Replace him again. And then you're going through the same old thing. Now you got to build chemistry all over again. That's what's happening with these teams. If you look at the bottom feeders, okay, which, which I'm sorry, okay, the, the Jets have always been down there. That's what happens. Mm. You're constantly, if you look at that the historical roster at, 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 uh, at offensive line, it's it's pathetic. And you're never going to get it right unless you do it right. Now, let's do one more, okay, at the top. The Falcons, okay? Falcons are a young team. And this is the part that uh, uh, really amazes me because they have a lot of good things going on on team, the same way the Lions do. Okay, you, mm -hmm. you're going to see the Falcons next year, if they get a good quarterback, they're going to take leaps and bounds. They're going to be phenomenal. Okay, now, now what, what do the Falcons have playing for them? Left tackle Jake Matthews, 2014, a first-round pick. Matthew yeah. Bergeron, who I remember really well. We really liked him. They took him in the second round, and he's starting 2023. They got at center. Drew Dahlman. They drafted him in 2021 in the fourth round. Then at right guard, they have Chris Lindstrom, 2019 first round pick. And at right tackle, uh, same thing, first round pick, 2019, Khalib McGarry. Okay, now all of these teams, the younger teams, right? Now check this out. The Falcons are doing it before they even have a quarterback. Okay? Yeah. Right? Yeah. What did the Jets do? They drafted another quarterback, put him behind an, an awful, a horrible offensive line. By the time they get him up to par, it's the same thing. Okay, I don't like the quarterback anyway. That's a different story. But you, you understand what I'm saying? Yes. That's how you win. Mm. Now, who's the quarterback for the Eagles? Uh, you know, Jalen Hurts. Is he hurt? Um, no. I don't think no. so, no. He played. Who's the, who's the quarterback for the Lions? Or Jared Goff. He's Jared Goff. How about, how about He's not hurt. Goff? He's not hurt. Uh, what that, about Love? He's fine. Right? Exactly. What about the, the kid that's playing for the Falcons? Uh, oh, yeah, but, yeah, yeah, he's still playing. He's he's not hurt. Right, exactly. What about all the other guys that got hurt? Where did, where, where's the Jet quarterback? Hurt. Right, exactly. Okay. Now, if you go to the next six that are up there, which is a, a really something that I find, uh, you know, the next four or five, whatever, that I find very interesting, is that only one of them, the Colts, 
have a five uh, five guys drafted. I'm going to give you three other ones, and I'm mm. going to give you the, the the actual quarterbacks' names. Okay, mm. the Ravens have Lamar Jackson. What's Lamar Jackson known for? Running, running the right. You got to get quicker, there, Mo. Okay, <laughs> pay attention here. Okay, the Chiefs have who? Patrick Mahomes. Right. Now, he could make, you know, he doesn't have any offensive playmakers right now. But he could make shit happen. He's a big-time quarterback, obviously, right? Yeah. Who do the Bills have? The Bills have three drafted guys. That's it. Who's the Bills quarterback? Uh, Josh Allen. Right. Don't get scared now, Mo. You're okay by me now. You changed your name. If it was Jeremy, we'd have an issue. I, I know, but I don't want you to think I was roughing up your brother or anything. Right, right, right. You're, you're okay then, okay? okay? Right. Listen, Josh Allen is built like a truck, okay? He, mm. He's a tank. He runs well. He does everything well, uh, physically on a football field, okay? The Bills, you know, know what they're doing. Now, the Jets, pull up the Jets. Now, this is an issue, okay? Yeah. Pull up our team. The team that, now, I'm a Jets fan, okay? It was a mistake, I think, when I was younger. I was like five, six years old watching TV. It was a black and white TV. I heard the work with the word New York playing. It was a Jet game, okay? Mm -hmm. If it was a Giant game, I would have become a Giant fan. But that's how I became a Jet fan. It was, And I liked it. I saw this guy smack somebody in the mouth. And it was great. You know, the game was different back then. They really hit people. Yeah. Right? And I fell in love with it at five. It was like the family business. You know, it was great. So that's what happened. That's how I became a Jeffrey. Mm. Now, pull up the Jets. What do you see? Go slow now because I got to remember who played for, you know, what position last week. Well, we had, I know, so it's showing the people who played last week because of injuries. So we had two guys. We had two people on the offensive line that are rookies, Joe Tipman and okay. Carter Warren. And who? Carter Warren. Okay. Now, that's not a problem. We like that, okay, because they got time to gel together and so forth. Okay. Now, this is the, the first thing that's an issue with the Jets, okay, with Jets fans in general, okay? You got to give that kid Warren a chance. Okay, everybody's an expert. They, they're, they're, you know, they listen to like giraffes and now, you know, all this stuff, and they're an expert. Okay, the kid got talent. He's in the NFL. Okay, he's got to take time to learn the system, grow into his position. This is second game in right tackle, right? Didn't he play left tackle? He played left tackle the first game that he played. Now this is the second game at right tackle, so they're flipping him everywhere. Right, right, exactly. So. You're telling me a kid, second game in the pros, the Jets fans are already saying, get rid of him, okay? Why do you think we never have, a, you know, a good team, okay? Mm. Let the kid play. Stick him there the rest of the year, okay? Who's your, I think Mitchell went into left guard. Or who right was right guard was Max Mitchell, so that's who Carter was playing next to. Max Mitchell, who's playing right guard, so he's out of position. For the first time. Right. Okay. Now, I actually never th I thought that they might have given him a chance there anyway. Hmm. Now, what's the worst case scenario with him playing there the rest of the year? You got a guy who could who could be your backup at guard and tackle? Hmm. Uh, shoot me. You know what I'm saying? There's yeah. something wrong with that. Right. Am I right or wrong? No, you're right. That's really good. Right. Who's your center? Joe Tipman. He's doing really well, right? Yeah. Okay, now you got the right side of your line's a little bit. Basically, the whole line right now is a little bit iffy. But right, we'll put we'll plug AVT into into right guard, right? Mm -hmm. You you're coming back with Warren, uh, AVT, Tippin automatically. You're guaranteed who Tomlinson. He's your fourth guy. Mm -hmm. You're paying him fifteen million dollars, right? Yeah, something like that. No, he's going to be there. Yeah. If you play those guys together, three of those four together for the rest of the year and don't budge them, okay, and then you add in a competent right right guard, an AVT, you already know he's going to be above average if he's healthy, right? Yeah. You got four guys already. Now come, come to wild card, okay? 
you got back to yeah you got to take this kid in the office in the next couple of weeks and give him a team friendly uh player friendly contract you got to make this guy an offer okay i don't care if i got to send you to do to make the offer we got to make an offer right maybe we maybe. Make, make him an offer he can, make him an offer he can't refuse so, no, but seriously, yeah. what do you do with a kid that's been injured for three friggin' years, okay, two and a half years, was drafted in the first round, made himself a nice hunk of change, okay, loves his quarterback, gives him a hug every time he sees him, okay? You, first of all, the kid has a little bit of, of, of a downfall, too. You put a speed rusher on that kid, you got a little bit of an issue sometimes. Yeah. Yes, sir? Okay. Yeah. So he already, you know, you got to be realistic, okay? I'm sure he knows that, too, that he's still got to grow and so forth. Now, you, you go up to him and you give him a team-friendly type contract. We're both, you know, and player-friendly. Say, so listen, if you do well, we're going to give you an incentive late in contract, okay? We're going to give you a decent amount of, 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 you know, guarantees, you know, to make it comfortable for both sides. If you do well, you are going to get paid, okay? If you earn something, you are going to get paid. We're going to take care of you. If you don't, you're going to be out of football anyway. Yeah. Okay? You make, them, you make them a quality offer. At least that way you have a base going into next year mm -hmm. of the five guys. Okay? You start with, with Beckton, Tomlinson, Tippmann, uh, ABT, and Warren. Okay? You let them play the rest of the four to five for the rest of the year. And you already know what's going on. Mm -hmm. okay, now, what's been the, the major problem with the Jets this, for the past couple of years on the offensive line? Injuries. Yeah. Oh, thank God you answered that quick. I was getting upset. Okay. <laughs> it, it was injuries, right? Yeah. So what does the team need? Death. Death. Exactly. Yeah, it took yeah. you a while there, Mo. Okay. <laughs> you need to have you need to have really good depth. Okay, you need players behind everybody. You need to have infuse talent in there. Okay, you need to replace uh, Tomlinson because he's going right. Um, I think so because I mean we have him under contract. Back then, right. he's going to be here next year because you're paying yeah. him too much. Unless yeah. you get rid of him, you know. I mean, we got to you could eat some of the contract and make it a little friendly for the whole team too. Okay, it's done. It's done in other sports. I mean, it's done. The Jets could definitely renegotiate and trade that contract. Okay, eat a little bit of it, whatever. Do what you have to do. But the more, the thing is, he's there. He, he's your left, your left guard going into next year. Mm -hmm. Everybody's looking at okay. Oh no, we just we need to get this or we need to get that. What you need to do on on the on the offensive line is you need to improve the talent level on the team. Okay. okay, it's not going to take one guy. Okay, if you, you know, just replace Beckton by using your first round pick on the tackle, you're going to get better. Okay, mm -hmm. you 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 probably will get better, but it's but you're also losing Beckton. Okay, so all you're doing is replacing what you already had. I don't like that concept. Okay, what I want to do is bring back the original five. And then draft the player in the proper part of the draft. We don't need to take an offensive tackle, as you saw those other teams that had two second round, third round, fourth round, fifth round guys start, you know, starting, right? Mm -hmm. You saw that. Yeah. We need we need to infuse more talent into this team. We need more starters, rookie starters, drafted players onto the entire team, especially the, uh, across the whole offensive line, okay? So you could add talent around it. You want competition. That's what you want to do, okay? Mm -hmm. The best thing the best thing you could possibly do is bring in another, another quality left guard, okay? If you go draft the best guard in this draft after a trade down from whatever you pick, it's six, seven, two, three, whatever. If you trade down and get a couple more picks, okay, second and third round, and you get the best guard in this draft, okay? He's going to take over for who? Thomason. Mm -hmm. You draft you draft another tackle. You, you re-sign Beckton. And for this year, as protection, you go out and sign a free agent just for a little, just in case, 
okay, to make sure you have a left tackle that's going to be at least close to league average because you're going to be phenomenal the rest of your line, right? Yeah. Think about it. Right. If you have another Titman playing, playing left guard and then you have, uh, you have ABT coming back at right guard around Titman, okay? That center of that line is really good. Hmm. Yes or no? Oh, no, yeah. Right. That's like, and then, you know, you, you, you help out back then on, on, on a speed rusher. You help out Warren on a, on a speed rusher. You, 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 you're together more. You change the offensive line coach. I think the injuries thing too you would, with this guy is true. Okay. Working this guy's too hard and so forth, mm-hmm. but you do it and you have them all play together. And after that, you know, next year, you had another guy. Then, then you go out and you get the big swing because you already fills everything else on the team. Okay, you you got your backup, your 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 future franchise quarterback. You got your line set up to be competitive with Rogers. Okay, you you added your second receiver. Okay, you could get the receiver even through what you want to call it, free agency. Okay, uh, uh, just a, a second. You don't have to go crazy. You know, you don't love to sign free agency, but in the position the Jets are, you could add that one quality guy like a Higgins, right? Yeah. That, that's a quality player. Mm-hmm. Yes or no? No, absolutely. Right. That's how you build a team. But that's not what the Jets, you know, let's just go sign an offensive line, sl- slap them all together, and then we're competing for Super Bowl. No, that's not the way it works. Okay? I could have mm-hmm. told you before, I was against Rodgers. Not because I don't like him, right? Because mm-hmm. I knew this was going to happen before it happened. Mm-hmm. Am I right or not? I told you how many times. Yeah. Yes. I mean, it's true or not? I was totally out on Rogers. Yeah. Okay. The same way I think Green Bean might not have been too happy over there. Am I right or wrong? You're right. I didn't right, right. I wonder why. Okay. Because it's the truth. It's like you're putting them behind the line that you just, you don't even know what their names are. Okay, it's like you look at next year. If they don't do what I'm, I'm saying now, okay. Oh, let's go get a new this guy, a new right tackle, a new left tackle. By the, by the time they gel, okay, you know how many teams in the AFC are going to be getting better and be really good next year? Yeah. You have any idea? You think the Jets are the only one? I think Jet fans too. They're the only ones improving. Okay, Buffalo's yeah. still going to make a run for the playoffs, right? Yeah. Okay, Miami, are they going away? No. No, no. Keep on going. Go through the whole thing. Kansas City, they had a receiver for, for Mahomes. Where are they going? Nowhere. And Cincinnati, exactly. Cincinnati, Keep on going. Baltimore. Pittsburgh, they get a quarterback. If they're the ones who signed a quarterback, okay, they, they already in the, almost in the playoffs, right? Yeah. Right. Imagine if they had a, a great quarterback. Oh, oh, my God. Dangerous. Right. Uh, are the Jaguars going away? Uh, it doesn't look like it. Not for a long time. Right, exactly. I think there's more. Isn't there more? Yeah, well, I mean, Cincinnati, Baltimore, Cleveland. Uh, right. All, you think they're all going good to win? teams. All good teams. Right, right. But, but no, the Jets are going to win the Super Bowl. Right? Mm-hmm. Only Jets fans think that way. I mm-hmm. guarantee you, though, right? You fix the offensive line. You bring in a kid to learn under Rodgers, okay? And then in 26, 25, 26, 27, they're going to have money to re-sign all of their guys, Gardner, uh, Wilson, whoever they draft. You only got one guy coming up at a time. They're going to have to sign. If ABT makes it, then, then you know, they could re-sign them, okay? If, if you could keep, you could retain. You could build a roster like all the other good teams, Okay. Mm. Uh, how you looking that? Okay, we got we got the top off defense. All our guys are coming back. The our playmakers are big time guys. Got to sign Reed back. Okay, that's the only guy you got to sign. Correct. Correct. So what happens? Okay, they got a top five offensive line because we fixed the thing. Okay, uh, how do you win? That's how you win. You know, I yeah. mean, I'm not. I really don't want this quarterback got to go. Okay, Zach. Mm-hmm. He's ha- he's he's literally half a quarterback. Okay, everybody. BYU sold this kid to you. Okay, and it's all over his tape. 
not only is it all over his tape, okay, it's all over the BYU hype videos, okay? Mm. This kid, he, they told you, told, like I'm telling you now, mm -hmm. they told you he had arm talent, okay? They told you he threw with touch. They told you all of this stuff. But if you actually look at it, he only does the same thing all the time. Throws it as hard as he freaking can, and that's it. Mm. This kid has the touch of, of uh, he has zero touch, mm. okay? And it's all over his state. What happened this last game, Wilson, up the right, the left sideline? What did he throw that ball? Way out, Remember? like the back of the end zone and out of bounds? That yeah, one? to the left side of the end zone. Where did he throw that ball for? It was supposed to be a touchdown. Where did he throw it? He high and uh, just off. Out of bounds. Out of bounds, yeah. It was like don't get, way off. Don't get nervous, Dave. You sound like Jeremy, okay, Mo? <laughs> don't get nervous. You're okay. He, he almost threw it. He, he, he threw it out of bounds. Mm -hmm. Okay? The kid has never completed that pass. Okay? It's like, yeah, never is like a big word. You know that, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, how could you run an offense if you pull up pull up a, a route tree? Okay, just just Google it. You're gonna find a route tree. Try to slap it up there for every other person. It's got to be how many people listening to your show? I don't know. Hopefully, at least uh, at least five hundred people will eventually watch this video. So, if not more. Okay. Well, listen. Put up the route tree. Okay, I got a route tree up. Okay, now, what's the, n name the bottom routes for me? Or uh, slow, one at a time. The bottom routes? Yeah, name, name one. Like a slant? Okay. Flat pass? Okay, right. Now, he, uh, Zach Wilson, he started out horrible with the slant, right? I mean, with the, with the flat. He was yeah. throwing that shit all over the place, right? Yeah. Okay. He's got, got a little better. He's better. Okay, on that. The short slant. Okay, we're, we're talking short here. Okay. Yeah. He, he's okay with that. He throws it as hard as he can. He, he he's getting better with that. Right? Mm hmm What's the next one up? Comebacks or curls? Right. Okay. Both of those, left and right, coming back towards the the receiver, right? To the, the, the quarterback, right? Yeah. Stationary receiver type throws. Okay. Mm -hmm. He got what? He's good at that. Right, That's he's what he does. He's throwing it at them. Yeah. What? Because he's throwing it at them. Right. That's what he does. He's really good at that. Okay. Keep on going up the, up the tree. Then you got the outside route and the inside route. And what are they called? Is the main one? Them? Well, down and out, down and in. Okay. If down and out on the sideline, he's okay with if he has a throwing lane. Okay. The end part, go count the ones that he has going left to right, okay, and, and all the football, past 10 yards, 12 yards, anything a little bit further, anything crossing the field, up the field, from left to right. It's non-existent, very rare. To the right, it's only the 12 yard exactly slant, but anybody that's crossing, you know, total on a broken play or something all over the field, he has an issue with, okay? Mm -hmm. He definitely has an issue when it's really close in the red zone. This kid only has, we're that bad in red zone because this kid can't hit a moving target cutting across the, the end zone, okay? Yeah. That takes away a lot of what the defender has to cover. The def defense knows that. Now go up to the bigger rats on top because we're going to show this, son. You got to show this to people because they don't they don't get it. Okay, the bigger rats going up on top. We'll start at fifty yards. Name name the three throws going across. Well, you got one when you're going to the uh, the when you're going across to the left, the corner. Yeah. You got the center, which is the go route. Okay. You're straight ahead, and then you got your post when you're posting left to right. Okay, now here's the deal. Okay. Put that, that go route. We'll start with that one. Mm -hmm. How many go routes does Zach Wilson have 
in stride for a touchdown. We'll start at 50 yards. Okay. Uh -huh. How many of them are on scheme plays? Say from 50 yards, go, go 40 yards and back. Okay. Cut across 40 yards from the end zone and back further from the end zone. How many go routes does this kid have in six years of football that are schemed? Not the broken pay, uh, play Davis touchdown. How many touchdowns do you think that kid has on the scene route? Left, right, or center of the field? Uh, on a straight go route, anything? Yeah, the only, the, only one I, the only one I remember is that broken play when he against Tennessee. Okay. Going back to college also, okay, Zach Wilson has zero, zero, the word is a big word, right? Mm -hmm. touchdowns on a schemed goal fly pattern of any type at any point in the, uh, the field. We're, we're starting at plus 40, you know, to bring it in to, for all the throws, okay? Now, the corner, and uh, into, we're talking now into the end zone, okay, or, or from that level. He has never hit that for a touchdown. Okay, hmm. in stride. He has never hit the post. Now, this is a really weird one. The kid has never hit a post for a touchdown, uh, like, period. But from 40 on, he has never hit, the, like, a long a long throw up the center of the field for an actual touchdown. Okay? Hmm. That is horrible. The kid can't hit a moving target. Now, we're going to go, I, I want to do something to show, you know, we need to show on actual film. We need to do that. Now, there's a problem with his deep ball. He needs to be directly in front of the, the receiver. Okay? The receiver has to be directly in front of him to to actually show, you know, to, to have a chance to get the ball to him so he'll catch it. Now, this is a, the weirdest thing I ever saw. If you go back to college... He has four deep balls thrown as far as he can. At that time, it was exactly 52 yards. They are all directly in front of him. Okay? Those are receptions. You know what happened with those receptions? They all hmm. dove to the left. Hmm. Okay? They slanted to the, to the you know, he, he slants it. His ball just tails to the left. Okay, and it's exactly 52, 53 yards longest distance up the middle of the field. Those are the only throws that kid completed in college past 40 yards on any type of post, corner, fly, anything, anything up there, okay, from any level of the field. The only throws he ever completed were directly in front of him and exactly as far as he could throw it. Now, what does that tell you? He can't judge distance, okay? Right. And it's all over his tape. Now, you can't fit that in and just make it work in the NFL. Now, let's bring it to the NFL. He went home and he practiced. Now, that throw, he can't make it anywhere else, is exactly... 57 yards, okay, 57.8, 58 yards, as far as he could throw. Now, let's give you examples of that same exact throw as far as he could throw, okay? Mm -hmm. he, he has Detroit, Schmidt, okay, against Detroit last year. He threw that ball di directly in front of him. It, it was like four yards to the right. He was running up the, the numbers, I think, to the, you know, up the hedge. He was running straight down the field. He, he leads them a little bit to the left to tail. Black Wilson needed to throw that ball 64 yards, 63 yards, and lead him for a touchdown. Okay? Mm. That's a loss. He, they lost that game, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. That needed to be a touchdown. That ball, if you watch it, tails to the left. He has to stop his route, catch the ball. Now go mm -hmm. to the Titans game. 
you have coals going deep. Okay, where is he? Directly in front of Wilson. The ball tails. Coles is three, four yards behind behind the defenders. And he dives for the ball that's going where? Tail and left. Okay? Mm -hmm. Go to the Davis actual throw. He lined himself up with Davis. Davis is directly in front of him. He throws it exactly 57 yards. Now, here's the problem. That's his only touchdown, right? Mm -hmm. if, if he threw that from five yards deeper, Zach Wilson would have zero touchdowns because he needs too much air under it to get where it's going. And it tails to the left. So the only kit the throw this kid could make is at his maximum distance. He can't hit those throws in stride. And he pulls everybody short. Mm. Now, that's a major issue. You can't, you can't undo that. Okay? Now, go to my other... Now, there's... You could look, okay? Maybe the fans could get involved and they could look it up. They'll list it. Somebody makes the, the thing, right? Every throw in the pros from get Zach Wilson. Mm -hmm. You could look him up. Do you have any idea how many times this kid has thrown a ball short that should have been a touchdown all over the field? Okay? I mean, I, I named, we named one this past week just now, okay? It's, it's at least 10 or 15, I'd say 15 minimum touchdowns that we left off the board because this kid can attempt to throw and didn't make it. Do you have any idea how many touchdowns they left off the board because he knows he can't make that throw? You have, you have any idea, Jeremy? No. I mean, I'm sorry. Mo, cut that out of Mo. <laughs> I said Jeremy because I'm upset. <laughs> okay? Do you have any idea how much he, 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 he ignores the throw? Mm. He looks. He looks for the, the, the throw that he knows he's comfortable with. Okay. Now the perfect example is the Kansas City game. Okay. Where he has Lazard going up the sideline. Okay. Mm -hmm. Lazard has his guy beat by two, three yards up the sideline. What does Zach Wilson do? Instead of stopping his rollout, he had plenty of room in front of him and just Tossing the ball in front of Lazard to lead him in for a touchdown. He continues on to the corner to, to line himself up directly in front of him. And he gets pressure and throws half a throw. And what mm. happens? Okay, it turns into a jump ball. No. Right. And we lose the touchdown. This is all over his phone. Yeah. No. Okay. What are you going to do with that? There's not much you could do. Not much you could do. Right. But here's the thing, though. BYU knew that. Okay? That's why That's why he rarely attempted any of those throws. That's why he only attempted, you know, to deep post up, up the center of the field. And and he if he made four or five, maybe six in three years at BYU, throws up the sidelines, you know, in, in that long a film, Okay, go watch every other quarterback's phone. Yeah. But it's, it's, it's horrible. Hmm. You know, and, and you really need to show. Because if you want to look at a real, you know, how to draft a real quarterback. You got to see where it went wrong, okay, in order to understand. You know, I want you to. I'm going to call you next week. And we're going to look at the tape. We're going to look at the film next week. How about that? Yeah, but you, I mean, it's going to take. You know, it's going to take some work, but it's really, it's not that complicated. Okay. I mean, they sold you, they sold you the, 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 the bag of goods or whatever. Okay. And it's all there. They actually advertise it, but they're showing you. Okay. The exact plays, you know, they show you his 20 yard throws. They show you all his touchdowns. So it's not mm -hmm. that hard. Mm -hmm. You know, either way. So you're good? We're good.